Okay, uh, very good afternoon, uh, viewers. Uh, welcome you all to the live union budget 2021. Thanks for coming from SA College today. This morning, our uh, finance minister, Nirmala Sitaraman, has presented the union budget 2021 of India, and it was went live in our college studio as well. This is the most uh, crucial budget and uh, first budget after the outbreak of COVID-19. And uh, the very important part is the first paperless budget in the Indian industry. Indian industry. And uh, our program, uh, our budget name program named as five experts, five minutes, five observation, and five takeaways from this session. And uh, to highlight a few points uh, about the uh, uh, our uh, finance minister, Nirmala Sitaraman, has uh, quoted the budget as categorized as six pillars. Um, the first one is health and well being, physical and financial capital and infrastructure, inclusive development for aspirational India, human capital, innovation and research and development, minimum government, and maximum governance. So let us uh, hear from our experts' uh, views on the budget. So first, Mr. Atish Ravi with us. He is a research consultant. His uh, observations and his opinion on budgets will be shared or principal, Dr. Mitri, sir. So. Thank you, Ganapati, sir. Um, uh... After an interview with uh, the research consultant, Mr. Atish Ravi, the director of Arrow Research Consulting Private Limited. On his interview with us, I'm just highlighting the major points what we have discussed. On the viewpoints of Sri Atish Ravi, Finance Minister has proposed an amount of rupees 1.97 lakh crores over a period for five years, starting this financial year, that is 2021-22, to nurture global manufacturing champions and increase jobs for the youth. In that way, employment opportunities are uh, curated to a newer version. And Honorable Finance Minister also proposed a mega investment textile park to be launched along with seven more textile parks to be established over the next three years. This is going to be an additional area where India is going to showcase its creativity and uh, the way it is going to rule the market. The third point what uh, the finance minister has proposed is to set up a development financial institution with an amount of rupees 5 lakh crores that this is going to be again a wealth addition like uh, industries is going to get as a boon that it may rectify whatever the problems we have faced in the last 10 months because of the COVID. And uh, the fourth highlighted point what Mr. Atish has pointed out is that there are around 2 lakh crores will be allotted for the capital expenditure in the states and other autonomous bodies. This is again going to be uh, the wealth addition that uh, whatever the problems the states have faced that may get rectified. And number five, the most important point uh, Mr. Atish Ravi has uh, pointed out is that there is a national highway is proposed with a budget, especially for Tamil Nadu. It is going to be around 1.03 lakh crores for an establishment of 3,500 kilometers, followed by our neighboring state, Kerala, where around 1,100 kilometers is going to get established at around rupees 65,000 crores. And in the row, number three is going to be in the state of West Bengal for around 675 kilometers with an estimation of 25,000 crores. These are the five observations what Mr. Atish Ravi has shared in our interview. 
thank you ganapati sir it's over to you Uh, sir, Mr. Satishwaran, sir, can you uh, hear my voice? In Satishwaran, channel accountant, uh, practicing CA and partner of Abraham and Philip LLP, uh, to present a glimpse of uh, the budget 2021. Um, to start with, uh, I'm going to touch upon only on uh, key aspects. Uh, due to limited time. Uh, to start with, uh, senior citizens about 75 years and above, um, they have having only uh, pension income and interest income, need not file any income tax, is a recent change made in the budget. Um, next important uh, point is that the reopening of assessment which was six years prior to the financial year in which the assessment is made, has been now reduced to three years for small tax concealment like uh, 50 lakhs or more and reopening can be made only up to 10 years which was the earlier uh, thing. And uh, now they have uh, constituted stateless assessments for uh, income tax uplift tribunal, which was not there before. Uh, the tax level, and the next point, the important point is that tax product limit has been extended to 10 crores, which was 5 crores for less than 5% cash transactions, which is a very important uh, step which has been boldly taken by the finance ministry. Uh, next, uh, um, talk about, uh, they have introduced uh, farm sets on petrol at the rate of inflation in the economy and um, it is not a, a good sign for uh, for our economy at this point. Um, it has been increased. Um, it will increase the inflation as such. Next, um, Point. Uh, some relaxations have been brought up uh, to remove hardship of the taxation avoidance agreement and uh, tax holidays for uh, affordable housing projects. Uh, some pre filled details like capital gains, dividend income, and interest income will be pre filled in the return. Relief to the trust. Charitable trust running hospitals and educational institutions. Relief has been granted from 1 lakh to 5 crore or 1 crore to 5 crores. Employee contribution. That's another important step which has been taken by the government is that uh, any contribution made by the employer is not paid by the, uh, by the employee, but not paid by the employer. Was under the direction net before, but right now it has been removed. And these are the important changes which have been made. A tax holidays for the uh, startup companies and uh, some uh, reduction in the customs duty for uh, scrap, steel scrap imported. Uh, previously, it was charged at the rate of 5%, I guess. Right now, it has been brought to mill. And uh, similarly, for the proper scraps, uh, uh, it was charged at uh, 5%. Right now, it has, it has been brought down to 2.5%. These are the important changes in the finance bill uh, as far as taxation is concerned. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Satishwan, sir, for your observation. And uh, we'll move on to the next uh, expert. Uh, he's a, a successful entrepreneur, exporter, and mentor. He's uh, Dr. D.K. Raju, sir, with us. And uh, he's going to give uh, his observation. So, as this budget on continuing to COVID-19, it's resultant of a robust economic measures having long-term implications, which through this union government, which came into power in the year 2014, the bold and imaginative policies which can pave the way for moving towards $5 trillion economy. I am happy as a senior citizen, 
and as an entrepreneur sector msme is at last getting the traction which has not been given despite pivotal role it plays in increasing gdp and in providing employment the entire entrepreneurial ecosystem is undergoing a change especially in promoting innovation and entrepreneurship which are crucial to our country to become strong among the other nations only rapid economic growth can help reducing the disparity that exists now between poor and rich today after independence 75 years gone to come to 2.8 trillion dollar economy but a very ambitious target of 5 trillion dollar to achieve in the next four years will be stupendous task only thinking on budgets like this can help us other than this i have no other significant observations thank you thank, thank you sir thank you uh, mr aju sir and uh, we'll move on to the next uh, person he is a director from bureaus capital ventures mr david philips with us sir can you uh, hear my voice uh good afternoon uh, thanks for inviting me david so i will give my opinion from uh, what i uh, listen to fm madam so from my uh, thing i am mostly into uh, investing and in fund so the uh, biggest uh, thing is uh, ipo of lic so it will uh, create a good opportunity for retailers to participate in the biggest uh, insurance uh, company uh, in india and uh, and uh, the other companies also like hsc and uh, the other finance all the other insurance company also will get a boost uh, that is one uh, thing and the uh, 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 second uh, biggest thing is uh, the takeover of uh, bank mba uh, npa the non performing assets of the bank and uh, reconstruction of uh, the for the bank that will give a boost to the bank for lending more because uh, if the npa is more in the bank uh, balance sheet and uh, they will hesitate to give a uh, 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 loan to the lower uh, income group. So, if the government uh, takes uh, that uh, uh, problem from the bank, these uh, banks will uh, give a good loan to all the deserving people. So, another thing which is not uh, uh, related to SMC is uh, that uh, our interest rates have gone very low, and the cost of funds for the bank. And for the NBFC, it's uh, really, really very low. Uh, for example, uh, Kotak uh, Bank and ICIC Bank, cost uh, of funds is around 3.9 percent. So they can give a loan uh, from around uh, 7 percent. So this is very good for SME, uh, SME and MSME, where uh, their uh, interest rate rates are around 10 percent or something. So this uh, difference uh, in 10 uh, percent to 7 percent, 3 percent. Uh, it is a big saving for them, and it will go directly into their uh, profitability, and they can um, uh, soon pay this uh, debt and uh, become more profitable and move fast in their uh, field. Uh, and uh, it has been a good uh, budget for startups, startups uh, field. And uh, uh, the uh, sector which I am looking at is housing, healthcare, uh, cement. And these uh, uh, companies, and uh, most companies which are high risk, because high risk companies will have good boost since uh, uh, this interest rates have uh, gone down, and uh, the NPA they go by the government uh, for the time. Uh, the stock market has already factored in all these uh, things uh, in the COVID uh, meltdown uh, before the two months. So the thing here is affordable housing, affordable rental housing. That's the new thing for me. I'm going to rent a house. Then the low income tax for the senior citizens about seventy uh, five. So these are the things I'm looking at. So the main uh, thing is uh, for us because banking sector is the matter of all sectors, right? So for uh, any sector to boom, uh, they uh, need to take some loans because uh, you know, the provider can't put a lot of money from the start. So, This uh, banking sector, when the banking sector goes goes up, uh, all the sectors will have a good support. So that is uh, my view. And uh, this budget, budget has been okay budget because there is no limited supply. 
So that is a positive trend, except for this uh, NPA takeover from by the government. So this is good overall uh, for the stock market. Economic point of view, the stock market is uh, has sucked in all the good news. Economy has to start running because the uh, it was a rock bottom uh, during this uh, two three months during the COVID lockdown. Uh, the companies are uh, nearly shut down. All the companies are nearly shut down. And now uh, this uh, pent up demand will come where uh, people will start building houses and uh, mostly the rural, rural uh, play will come in. Uh, and I uh, think cities will move, uh, city work will uh, move slowly compared to the rural uh, uh, places where the COVID uh, uh, has uh, hit the uh, lower uh, cities. So this is my view, and uh, thanks for giving me this opportunity. Thanks for that. Thank you, thank you, Mr. David sir, for highlighting uh, uh, very important aspects for banking industry where uh, uh, total uh, NPA should be taken care of the government, and it was a good move from the finance minister for uh, uh, making uh, uh, banks to go for more uh, loan, further loan credit processing. Thank you, sir. Thanks for highlighting this information. And uh, uh, the final uh, speaker for the day, uh, Mr. Sri B. Ramamurthy, sir. Uh, he's a retired uh, chief manager from uh, National Trust Bank, which was uh, already interviewed by our principal, and his uh, points will be shared uh, by our principal, Dr. Vijay. Sir, over to you, sir. Thank you again, sir. Uh, the observations what uh, Ramamurthy, sir, has uh, mentioned. Again, it is an uh, interview immediate after the finance minister's budget was over. The key points what uh, Ramamurthy sir has highlighted that the new asset reconstruction company is to be set up to provide resolution to stressed assets in public sector units. This is one key point what Ramamurthy sir was uh, stressing. And uh, our uh, finance minister has modified the definition of small companies. Uh, this was uh, the major change again. Companies with a paid up capital not exceeding two crores and a turnover not exceeding 20 crores are to be considered as small companies. This is an important decision taken by the union ministry. This is going to help small scale industries to overcome the financial crisis. And the third highlighted point is that uh, the Honorable Finance Minister, uh, Mrs. Sita Raman, has announced. A further infusion of rupees 20,000 crores for public sector banks because of the major decision what the last uh, budget was traced was uh, merger of banks. So this is going to be a value addition for the merger decision what uh, the union ministry has taken in the last financial year. And also the finance minister has announced that agricultural credit, because that is where uh, the unseen scenario is uh, prevailing today there is an agricultural credit which got, has got increased to 16.5 lakh crores this is one important decision and uh, the key point what ramamurthy sir in his uh, last point stated the total fiscal def deficit is spent at 9.5 percentage of gdp and it is funded through government borrowing an additional 80000 crore is needed to ensure our economy is given the needed push so if these things are going to happen, this is going to be you know, the best union budget uh, submitted. This is what the key observations of uh, Mr. Ramamurthy said. Over to you, Ganapati sir. Thank you. Thank you for uh, highlighting those points, sir. So uh, we are coming to an end of the session. So I think uh, you heard uh, the five expect talk on uh, uh, the budget and its minutes and uh, the five observation and five takeaways from this session. So uh, thanks I thank uh, once again uh, the uh, speakers uh, expect talk on that, uh, Mr. Ratish Ravi, uh, Mr. C. A. Satish Vansar, Sri D. K. Raju sir, Mr. David Phillips and Sri D. Ramamurthy sir for uh, sharing their observations on uh, the budget. So uh, thanks, uh, uh, thanks to our principal for joining and uh, thanks all the students, thanks all the viewers, those who are joined for the session. 
on uh, this lightning and budget 2021 discussion. Thank you all.